It's something that can affect anybody in our community. The opioid epidemic reaching all corners of Greater West Bloomfield, Oakland County, Michigan, and around the U.S. as well as the world. And so efforts are being made on the hyper local level in order to help those directly affected by opioid overdoses right here in our community. It's a partnership between the Alliance of Coalitions for Healthy Communities, the Oakland County Medical Control Authority, and our West Bloomfield Township Fire Department that began just over a month ago. Joining us for more information on this brand new program is Sergeant Blake Belsky with the West Bloomfield Fire Department. Sergeant Belsky, thank you for being with us again. Thanks for having me back, Tyler. I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate having you on to talk about this program because it's something that hopefully won't have to be utilized by many, if any, families here in Greater West Bloomfield. But we know that anybody can be affected by opioid overdoses. And so take us through this because we know in, throughout our community, the Alliance has put Save a Life boxes that have information and some resources related to reversing opioid o overdoses or preventing them. This is a little bit more of a direct effort from our first responders. So the Save Life stations are fantastic. They've been around for a few years now and they have the nasal spray Narcan boxes available. They're all throughout the township. You can go on the uh, ACH, and, uh, the, the Alliance's website and find out where those Save Life stations are. There are actually a few at the fire stations throughout the township here. Uh, they have some additional resources like uh, uh, local uh, substance abuse, substance use uh, treatment resources, uh, and they also have the Deterra uh, medication disposal bags, which are fantastic. Um, but as firefighters and paramedics in the township, we have the uh, the advantage, I suppose, of seeing people in their homes and uh, helping identify folks who might need these resources and haven't either thought to get the resources, maybe feel like there's some stigma attached to uh, visiting the fire stations and, and opening those boxes and getting it themselves, or just not even realizing that they're at risk and uh, that, that these resources are, are valuable uh, from a prevention standpoint. And so how will this be utilized? Because the Save a Life boxes that, that we talked about, they're distributed throughout the community. Anybody can get access to them. But in this case, these are Save a Life bags that are going to go to people that are really directly affected by this crisis. As like you said, you kind of get that as, as a firefighter, as paramedics, you kind of got that first person experience to be able to interact with them and provide these resources. So how will that be executed? So our paramedics will be in the home and these are something that the uh, that the patient or the family can ask for. Uh, these are things that the the crews can leave behind if they feel if they feel that this would be a benefit to the uh, to the residents. Uh, it's a red bag uh, badged with the Save a Life and the Alliance's uh, sponsorship logos here. And it has the same resources that are available in those Save a Life stations uh, throughout the township. It's got the nasal spray Narcan and some cards with additional resources. And this is something that would be left behind. Uh, the Oakland County Medical Control Authority has a protocol designed specifically for uh, this leave behind program. Uh, it allows us to leave Narcan at the home. It doesn't, it's not something that we need to have uh, some sort of special permission. We don't need to make a phone call. If we identify a need, we can leave this behind. And hopefully this will, uh, this will be a benefit to the, to the residents of the township. And it's important, too, because it's not just those that necessarily have overdose that will be receiving this. It could also be family members that are responding there that are on scene when an overdose happens that now it has you know, a connected network of people surrounding someone that may have fallen victim to, to, an, to an addiction, maybe battling that addiction. Now they got that support system and these resources. How does that play into from a firefighter and a paramedic's perspective, helping your team fight this crisis that still even affects us here in Greater West Bloomfield? Absolutely. And for years now, since the opioid epidemic really took off uh, a few years back, our paramedics, our firefighters have been really, really great at the response portion of, of battling this, this epidemic. What we struggled with, uh, because we didn't have the resources, we didn't have the knowledge, was the the other really important parts, the education, the prevention, the treatment and the recovery stuff. And it's the, the education that now we can be involved in, uh, leaving these resources behind, telling families the signs uh, to look for, uh, telling people who may not understand how dangerous these, these substances are to them, helping them realize what they're dealing with. 
uh, people who might not realize that they have a problem, getting them in touch with the resources that they need, that they need for recovery and uh, long-term health. Uh, the, the Alliance of Coalitions has really done a fantastic job and we're so lucky to be partnering with them uh, because the response part that we've, we've gotten so good at with the fire department here is just such a small piece of the overall picture of fighting this, this epidemic. Yeah, Sergeant Blake Belsky is with us from the West Bloomfield Fire Department as they are now embarked on a new program in partnership with the Oakland County uh, Medical Control Authority uh, as well as with the Alliance of Coalitions for Healthy Communities. You can find more information on, on this effort by visiting alliancemi.org. That is the Alliance's new website, alliancemi.org. Dot org. And Sergeant Belsky, this is a new program in the West Bloomfield Fire Department, a new partnership with the Alliance and with Oakland County. But how common is this now across other fire departments? We know that you're always in communication, that your, your departments often are working together on responding in, in these cases and in others. Is this something relatively new that West Bloomfield is really leading a charge on? We are. We're very fortunate that the Alliance approached us with this, this idea. Uh, I believe Birmingham Fire Department is also doing a, a similar program, uh, and that's it. That's it. This is something that I, I hope really catches on, and I hope uh, other communities see the benefit of involving their first responders in these education and prevention and recovery efforts, because really it's, it's, it's a whole picture. You can't just have one piece of this and hope that we'll be successful. We've got to partner up. Uh, contrarians may then come back with this and say, well, how is this actually helpful? How does this prevent opioid overdoses or opioid overdose deaths in the future by providing a resource like this? You know, maybe that's helping them in the moment, but how does that stop or how does that lead to a stoppage in this? Uh, what, what would your reaction be to someone that's taking that sort of contrarian point of view on a program like this? Uh, my, my reaction will be rather blunt. Uh, it's that dead people can go to recovery. Dead people don't heal, and we need we need the resources. We need Narcan in the home. We need it on the street. We need it in the community. We would love for everyone in, in the neighborhoods to come and get one of these and keep it in their car, keep it in their purse, because we don't know who's struggling. We don't know who's going to need this next. And without it, we can do a great job of showing up when someone calls 911, but sometimes it's just too late. We need people to stay alive so that they can heal, and this is this is such an important piece of that. And you're playing an important role in that as well, as are all of our firefighters and paramedics who will be able to distribute these Save a Life bags throughout our community going forward because of this new partnership. Sergeant Belsky, before we let you go, anything else that we should know about this new program or other ways people can get involved in helping our local firefighters uh, prevent these opioid overdoses in the future? Talking, talking to your friends, talking to your family, talking to your community to make sure everyone you know understands how important it is that they stay healthy. Make sure you understand what's going on in the lives of your loved ones. And if they need help, get them in touch with the resources. If you, if you don't know who else to call, you can call the fire department. We will come out and we will help you in any way we can. And now our toolbox has been expanded thanks to these uh, partnerships. More information on this program and as well as locations of many of those Save a Life boxes throughout Greater West Bloomfield can be found on AllianceMI.org. Sergeant Belsky, thank you so much for your time once again. Thank you, Tyler. Appreciate the time.